Hey and welcome everyone to our video guide. My name is Ned and in this video we're going to be exploring all the different ways of importing data into Caspio. One way to import data is by setting up your very first application and you're going to be able to see the option to import data. You can bring data in from an external source such as CSV, Excel workbook, MDB file from Access Database, and you can even import Caspio applications if you have them archived offline. The benefit of importing data is that not only will your application users be able to see the data sets quicker, but importing data can also accelerate app development because Caspio will preserve the field names and the structure, and you won't have to create your tables from scratch. So let's import our data from Excel. So I'm going to show you my Excel file. So just a few things to mention when it comes to importing data from Excel. Your very first row should contain all of your field names or your column headings. And then underneath that, you're going to have all of your data. Also, if your Excel files contain formulas, you're not going to be able to import the formulas into Caspio. Formulas will have to be recreated on the Caspio side. And lastly, if your Excel files contain multiple data sheets, and you import that as a workbook file into Caspio, each one of these data sheets will be converted into a Caspio table. So if you have a preference of working offline to set up your database structure, you can create all of your data sheets and list all of your fields along with data. And as you import the file into Caspio, it will accelerate your app development because you won't have to build those tables from scratch. Today, we're gonna be importing only this data sheet. So let's go back to Caspio and bring this data in. I will choose the option to import data. Next, give your application a name. I'm just gonna call it something generic, maybe contact management demo. And then you want to locate the file on your computer. Here is my Excel file. We're going to hit next. And then you're gonna be able to see how Caspio is creating the application container and it's in the midst of uploading that data file. What we need to do next is go through the import wizard to bring that data in. So let's hit next. It's automatically going to take me inside the import wizard. And on the left hand side, you're going to be able to see all of the data sheets that you're importing from your Excel file. Now, remember, my Excel file only had one data sheet. That's why you only see one table listed here on the left hand side. If you had multiple data sheets, you'll be able to see them listed here and you can pick and choose which tables you want to import. Next step is to select the action. And depending on your selection here, you're going to get a different result as you import the data into Caspio. If you choose create new, this is going to create a new table in Caspio and it's going to bring that data from Excel into your Caspio tables. If you choose replace, now any data that you bring into Caspio is going to replace an existing table that you select on the right hand side. Append allows you to append new data to your existing tables. So for example, let's say today I imported my contacts data, but tomorrow I have additional contacts. What I would do is I would select my append option, find my contacts table to bring that new contact information and append that to my existing table. Next, we have update. Update allows you to make specific changes offline. And then as you import the data to your Caspio account, Caspio is going to look for those changes and only apply the changes that you made. And it does this using a unique ID. So the source file, your Excel file has to have a unique ID and your destination table in Caspio has to have a matching unique ID. That's how Caspio is going to be able to find the changes that you made offline and only apply the changes that you made to your existing table. And finally, we have update design. Update design allows you to include additional fields in your Excel file. And as you import the data into Caspio, those newly added fields will now append to your destination table. Today, we're going to choose create new. You can give your table a name. We're going to hit next. And then you're gonna be able to see the sample data that you'll be importing from that Excel file. At the very top, you're gonna to be able to see all the original field names from the Excel file. You can rename those fields at this point to something else if you'd like. You can choose to include all of the fields that you're importing, or you can exclude some fields if you don't want to. And then finally, we have a data type that we can choose. Also, this screen can look completely different depending on your selection in the previous screen. So if you chose append, for example, on the subsequent screen, you're gonna have to map out the fields from your source file to your destination table so that Caspio knows where to append that new data. And lastly, if you did have multiple data sheets that you're importing from your Excel workbook file, on the following screen, you're gonna be able to see a list of tables here on the left-hand side, and you can toggle back and forth 
to see all the data that you're importing. Once you're finished making all of your changes, you're going to simply hit import. And then you'll be able to see a confirmation message here. I can go directly inside my table by clicking on the link. And that's going to show me all of my data that I just imported from my Excel file. Now, let's say it's the next day and I have a new set of contact information that I want to append to this table. Obviously, we're not going to set up a brand new application from scratch. We already have the application created. I just need to append new contact information to the table that we imported today. What you're going to end up doing is going to Tools, clicking on Import, locate the file that you have on your computer where you have those newly added contact information, and then you're going to go through the same steps of importing the data via the import wizard and you're going to choose the action called append and then on the following screen you're going to map out the fields from the source excel file to your destination table and you're going to be able to see how easy it is to bring the additional data and append that data to this table right over here the third way of importing data into caspio is to automate this process instead of going to tools and manually importing the data we have something called data import and export tasks and what you can do is you can schedule an import, choose the option to import the data. Let's create a brand new site. And then you have a few different repositories that you can connect to automatically to bring data and fetch data and append that data to your existing Caspia tables. Some of the more popular repositories can be an FTP site, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive. I will choose my Dropbox account. I need to authorize Caspi to log into my Dropbox account securely. So we click on the authorize button. And I need to allow Caspi access to my Dropbox account. Once authorized, you can give your site a name and then you have the ability to choose the file from your Dropbox account. I'll just select this one as an example. Click choose. Hit next. The file that I selected has two different data sheets. Again, we have the similar setting here that we can choose our action. You can choose new, you can choose append. And depending on your option here on the next screen, you're going to be able to now see both of those two tables. You have the field name from the source table. You have the field name on the destination table. You would have to map out those fields correctly. And the point that I'm trying to make here is on the following screen, you're going to now be able to set up a frequency how often you want Caspute to go to that repository fetch the new data and append that data into your Caspio account. And a very common practice is to maybe set this up to daily if you have new data available daily. And then a lot of our customers like to run that operation maybe sometime in the morning, let's say 1.15 a.m. That way new data is available the next day. So when the app user logs in, they're gonna be able to see that appended data and be able to work with that data and manipulate it in any way, shape or form. And finally, if you're a little bit more tech savvy, you can use Caspio's REST API to bring data into Caspio in real time. And to set that up, you're going to go to Access Permissions. You will click on Web Services Profiles, create a web service profile, and here you will see the protocol for REST, including your client ID and client secret. So you can programmatically bring data in in real time and make that data available inside your Caspio applications. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.